Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and welcome back for another episode of Multi-Photo Monday. This month we have Miranda creating a lovely mood board which reminded me essentially of some of our DC pictures that Sam and I have taken. So you guys can join us in using this mood board for inspiration if you'd like. But we do have some special guests joining us this month. So if you guys have not already stopped by their videos, make sure to check out the next one linked down below to make the full loop. And as per usual, Miranda, Dolly, and Becky are joining us. And then we also have Melissa and Laura Mar joining us this time as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This will be the last episode of Multiphoto Monday for a little bit. Becky's taking a break on this series, and we all thought it'd be a good idea to take a break and get some, you know, rejuvenated inspiration as we move forward during these busy months here that are coming up. Before today's layout, I decided to go with two photos instead of the four. I think I might make an associated um, double pager out of this. I just wasn't sure if I wanted all these photos on the same page because they are from different places in DC, except these two are from the same place. Um, this is the beautiful Library of Congress. If you guys have not been there, I cannot stress this enough, guys. It is absolutely breathtaking in there. And that's essentially what this layout's about. The architecture is one, hard to photograph, but two, it's just so much better in person. Um, and I highly, highly recommend it. So I ended up pulling out a bunch of papers from this blush, blush collection from DCWV because the mood board had a ton of blush tones in it. And it also had um, sort of like this wrought iron fence in one of the photos that also spoke to me and as well as some other metallics. So I thought I'd go down this blush and metallic road and this paper pad was perfect for it. And so far I have three pattern papers picked out and they do look a little bit washed out on camera. I will say they look a little bit more colorful in person. This first one's actually like a blush watercolored paper, which I'm inking with the Tattered Rose Distress Ink, one of my favorites to use for colored papers like this to give them a little bit more definition between the layers. The second one's that beautiful rose pattern. I think that works really well. And I actually end up finding some embellishments that coordinate really well with this. So it was very nice to have that sort of tie in. Now I do end up actually like touching my phone a few times. That's what I'm reaching off camera for every time to either pick a new video or start a new one. I was having trouble finding long enough videos to watch while I was scrapbooking this day. So if you guys have any recommendations for YouTubers that you watch that do longer videos, I'd love to know. I like putting on longer ones when I can't sit down and fully pay attention to it. That way I can catch more bits and pieces of it as it goes on. I do have a couple embellishments here pulled out. This heart is from my mind's eye blush collection as well. And then the little floral leaves there are actually from Paige Evans. The leaves never make it onto the layout. I think they're just a little bit off for the wooden feel of this layout and the direction I end up going with it, but I do enjoy that they're the exact same shade and they could have worked wonderfully. Uh, and they do have that metallic that I'll be looking for later on this layout. I'm not sure if it's reading well on camera, but I do have a background paper there that's this beautiful heart ornate pattern. And again, that reminds me of those wrought iron fence sort of patterns, one that's in the uh, mood board and also in the architecture of these types of DC buildings. And so that was really nice. And it's also a like gray, tawny, neutral color. Um, so it's like a light brown background color to give some like giveaway to all the pink that I have featured here. So as I go on, again, I have a lot of ideas for where I could take this layout. I'm really having trouble deciding on where to fully go with it. Then I decided to bring in some of the washi tape to bring in that metallic, and I end up going with this copper. It's more of like a bronzy gold instead of a straight gold, like a yellow gold would be, or a rose gold would be, and I really love how this one turned out. And if you guys have been to these buildings, you know they have a lot of like gold leafing, which isn't necessarily a bright shiny gold since it is so old. It does have that like tarnished sort of look to it where it's a little bit darker and deeper toned. And that's where this color came in perfectly. And I believe this is a um, American Crafts washi tape that I got in a bundle set from Tuesday Morning or some other craft store, but just one of those bundle sets that has a lot of metallics in it. Those are the ones I'm gravitating towards. And I am almost done with this roll. I think I'll end up finishing this one this year, which would be great. I think I finished two washi tape rolls last year and I'd love to do more this year. And I am trying to use washi tape on every single one of my layouts as much as I can. Um, I've tried to do a bunch of product focused layouts lately. Um, more so just trying to, you know, open my eyes up to opportunities in my stash to use more, especially when I can, because I do have a lot of things and I do want them all to make it onto pretty pages um, at some point. 
So once I pulled out my Maggie Holmes sticker book here, and my, not Maggie Holmes, this is my Jen Hadfield sticker book, but once I pulled out my Jen Hadfield sticker book, it was over for this layout. I started with that gold frame by cutting it in half and making it a longer frame by putting half at the top and half at the bottom. And then I started adding these floral stickers that match the background floral paper perfectly. Um, it just started coming together so fast and so easy. And luckily, since this is actually a very blush toned and neutral toned sticker book, it worked really well for this layout and for this challenge so I can't wait to see what the other ladies made again I'll have the next lady linked down below so you guys can check her video out um, and then make the full loop so you guys get all of the multi photo Monday inspiration while you're here I end up bringing more of these coppery gold someone needs to tell me what color this is um, I think they're just a nice bronze gold um, different leaf stickers so essentially those would add a nice touch of that metallic element without having to add a lot of bulk or a die cut wood or another layer of paper might. I ended up stumbling across a couple of word stickers that I decided to do and use in the bottom right cluster. One says weekend plans and another one says I think something about adventure. Um, I believe this was on a weekend we visited because that's usually when we went to DC and by far DC is still one of my favorite places um, that we usually got to visit. It was just, it never was boring, there was always something to do and you guys should definitely plan a trip if you haven't been yet. So here I do have that one element on some foam so I decided to bring in another 3D element and these are actually just from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. And they're just like essentially heart-shaped flare, but they have burlap with metallic accents on the front side. And they're really beautiful, and I got those for 74 cents, so definitely had to buy a pack. Um, and I'm using some of these cork arrows to bring in more of that texture like the burlap does, as well as that gold metallic. Here's where I pull out my Maggie Home sticker book, and I honestly didn't think I'd grab anything out of it. But I do end up liking one of these bird stickers. Now again, it's mainly just because it brings in another element of metallic and also the plain white neutral, which this layout kind of needed a little bit more that was just plain, um, spite of being metallic. Um, so I pulled that in and used that in the top left cluster there. So I have three main clusters. The cascade on the right hand side reads well across the photo. Um, and then the layout title here that I'm using these stickers for will essentially tie this all together in sort of a right angle triangle sort of shape if you were to put lines between all of them. This is one of my go-to layout designs. If you guys have not seen that, I do have a series where I go over some of my go-to layout designs and explaining them and how I come up with them. And you guys should definitely check that out if you're not already. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe before you leave so you can catch up more of my crafting videos and all of the fun things that are happening on my channel. But here are the close-ups. This layout is complete. It was so much fun to do, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, as well as the mood board that I showed you at the beginning. Thank you to Miranda for a great mood board, and thank you to Becky for hosting this collab for so long. I can't wait till Multiphoto Monday comes back later in the year, but until then, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the next link down below so you guys don't miss out on any of the inspiration this month, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!